So guys, I have like a story time for you, I guess. I, I'm going to add to the sequel that is the video that I uploaded today. <laughs> okay, so a really long time ago, a friend of mine, we were talking about like our favorite YouTubers and I told them mine and they were like, my favorite YouTuber is Idubs. And I was like, who is And so they were like, I'll show you. Like he's hilarious, I love him, whatever. And so they pull up his video and like two minutes into seeing his video, seeing his video he's white and he says the N-word. Like, this was, like, months ago. Like, I don't even, maybe, like, two months ago. I don't even know. And he says the N-word. And I was like, you like this person. Like, he's saying the N-word. Like, how are you, like, cool with that? They were like, oh, it's satire comedy. Like, it's okay because he's, like, reading what other people say, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, he's white. He's saying the N-word. Like, that, that's not okay. Like, I continue to watch. And, like, I guess he is, like, funny. But, like, I can't accredit him that when he's sitting there being, like, blatantly racist. Like, that's just, like, not my thing, you know? And I'm not, like. Some fucking crazy human rights activist, and I don't want people to think I'm like psycho like that, you know what I mean? But um, it's crazy to me that like this white guy has five million and his five fucking million subscribers are all just fine with him saying the end. Like, I was very, very flabbergasted, unsettled, shocked. I don't know. I hope so. I tweeted him, and I, I don't remember exactly what I said. I'm sure you could find it, but it was like, You have five million subscribers, you say the n word in your video, like, that's not cool. Kill yourself. And after, and I didn't delete it because that wasn't my feelings, you know, like, I don't fuck with him, I can't believe he has 5 million subscribers, I do think that's racist, I know some people may disagree, I deleted it because I don't like saying kill yourself. And the tweet was a very, like, spur of the moment, so I just deleted it, I was like, I don't want to deal with, like, Twitter drama right now, I don't want to tell anybody to kill themselves, that's not right, I don't want to say kill yourself anymore, like, so I deleted it, and I guess he never responded, I never saw a response, I never thought anything of it again, like, I don't know, it was just a one-time thing. I didn't fuck with him, I didn't fuck with his videos. So now fast forward to the future. I guess the guy that came to my show trying to get me to say the N-word in my video that I'm crying over, that I was terrified over, that I literally contemplated like canceling my tour. Now I have to like get all these metal detectors, all these security because I'm fucking terrified. This guy that legitimately terrified me was Idubs. Like this YouTuber, Idubs that I called out on Twitter months ago for saying the n-word bought a $200 ticket to my meet and greet and my show and Tried to get me to say the n-word with him on camera and then wouldn't let go of me and terrified the fuck out of me Made me ball my fucking eyes out. It was just this youtuber that I, like, I Didn't recognize him. He's wearing glasses I think and like my merch and like I didn't think like oh this could be Idubs I'm thinking it's just like a normal guy coming to my fucking I'm genuinely just so confused and everything i said in my video still stands i don't care if you're a famous youtuber or not you're fucking racist and that's not fucking cool it genuinely genuinely deeply disheartens me that i know his career won't be hurt at all he'll continue to make youtube videos he'll continue to get views his subscribers will stand by him i know and it's so sad to me to know that there are people out there in the world like that that would buy tickets to my show come to my meet and greet wait in line to meet me and try to get me to say the n-word thinking that i would think it's funny or that i would like end myself not liking him or like i don't even know he makes these things called content cop maybe he was trying to get me to say it so he could call me out understand and I don't even know how to come to like a conclusion of it at all I just like don't understand why he's okay with fucking terrifying me being a fucking racist or like his intentions behind that at all like, I just don't my mind is just blown I don't know like the fact that this youtuber that's what he did instead of replying to me on Twitter or anything that that's what obviously I dubs I guess in your brain this was a prank or a joke you terrified the fuck out of me but keep doing what you're doing your fans clearly love it and you don't give a not to sound like a complete pussy, but I'm so sad. You guys, like, have been so awesome with your response to my new video. But your response is being, like, competed with, with all of IDUB's fans hating me and leaving me so much hate. And I mean, I'm not losing you guys, and I love you guys, and I know that you understand where I'm coming from, my point, and what I was trying to do with that video. But I honestly don't understand what I did wrong at all. And it sucks. Like, I'm getting so much hate on Twitter and so much hate on that video. I don't think someone showed me this guy's videos and I tweeted him because I thought what he was doing was racist. Like, how do you just say the N-word all the time in your videos? And so because I tweeted him, he didn't respond, he didn't follow me, we could have, you know, talked out via Twitter. He bought a ticket to my meet and greet and showed up to it, waited in line for hours. 
to harass me and try to get me to say the word that I originally tweeted to him that I didn't like like him saying like I don't I don't understand how anybody can be mad to all of his fans being like there are videos of you saying that word I'm not hiding that I know that but I was also fucking like 13 or 14 and I've talked about that I've addressed that a million and just because I said something when I was fucking 13 or 14 to somebody and had no idea the context of it doesn't mean I can't grow and learn that it's wrong. And just because I said it at that point, does that not mean that in the future I can't learn that it's wrong and then become an activist for being against racism? I can't learn and better my life. Like, I don't understand how I'm getting all of this hate from his fans for saying it when I was 13, even though I apologize, but he's a grown man and says it in every single one of them. Like, it literally breaks my heart that millions of fucking people support this person that's racist and are coming at me being like, the N-word isn't racist when he says it. Don't you know the context? It's racist no matter how. And that like the amount of hate I'm getting has only just begun because he's gonna make a video about me that he makes about everybody else called Content Cop, where he brings up a bunch of stuff I've done, but already and makes me out to be a shitty fucking terrible person when I'm not, I'm not a bad person. And all I ever want to do with my fucking platform is advocate for what is right in this world and advocate against And then after he makes that video, millions of people will watch it and millions of people are gonna come for me and all my content's gonna have a million dislikes and a million fucking hate comments when all I was trying to do was make a video talking about how I think white privilege is a thing and how I'm against racism. And I don't understand, like I, I just, I don't understand it. And I'm so upset. And it blows my mind that his subscribers rationalize him saying the n-word constantly. But a video of me saying it when I was 13 is something that they can leave me so much hate for. When I just really don't understand why he did that to me. And why 3 million people think what he did was okay. And nobody fucking cares that I was terrified at all. Nobody cares that... I don't know. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna stop ranting. But just be prepared if you're subscribed to me for... All of the comments on all of my videos to be nothing but hate from iDubs fans for a while. Which breaks my heart because all I wanted to do was make a change. But I love you guys. So guys, I know I've said this like a million times and I really have said this a million times. But I want you guys to know that I'm not excusing anything I said when I was young. I know that I'm fully accountable and have to take full responsibility for every single thing I said when I was young, even if I was uninformed and didn't know what the words meant. And in that one video of me calling Amari a stupid blank, I was 14, my friends were telling me what to say, his mom was sitting next to me, I didn't think, I didn't think it was racist. Obviously I was calling him stupid, I knew it was like a funny insult or whatever, but I didn't know it was racist. And I've apologized for it a million times and I'm so sorry. I obviously regret any point in time that I was ignorant and dumb enough not to know what they meant. But since I educated myself and since I learned what they meant, I've dedicated every waking moment since learning what they meant and learning that they were wrong to being nothing but somebody who ad advocates for equality. And I do. I advocate. I will gladly apologize and own up to everything I've done in the past, but I don't think that just because I said those things in the past that I can't apologize and move on and advocate for equality and I advocate for nothing more than black lives matter and racism ending and people stopping saying the n-word in any connotation. I understand that to a lot of people and a lot of supporters of him it's just a word but it isn't just a word to so many people and it hurts so many people. Like that word that may be a joke to you that your favorite YouTuber says as a joke, so many people don't take as a joke and it hurts so many people. So why would we keep saying it? The day that I learned that that word was offensive and it could hurt somebody else, I cut it the fuck out of my vocabulary because I didn't think that was okay. And I just wish everyone else could do that too. And I don't think that I'm better than him and I'm not trying to deny that I never said it. I have said it, I owned up to it and I apologized and I wish he could do the same thing and I wish he could stop saying it because it So hold me accountable for the things that I said when I was 14. I understand that you guys are all going to do it, but I apologize and I meant it and I'm going to spend every day advocating. So yeah, um, still against racism, still a growing learning individual who made a lot of mistakes still will apologize for those mistakes and own up to them and i don't want to be that youtuber that hides my past and pretends like i never said that word or pretends like that never happened it happened and i apologize for it and i'm sorry and i regret it and all i can do is grow 
I'm sure a lot of you said a lot of things when you were younger that you now regret, but the important thing is that you learn from it and you're growing from it and you're doing better now. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm so thankful that I have a fan base that is so understanding of how much I've grown from when I was young and dumb and is here to advocate against racism with me. I love you guys so much. I'm so thankful to have 2.4 million subscribers that advocate for equality with me. You guys are the best family in the world and thank you for sticking by my side even through my mistakes.